uh, a very good afternoon to all my respected professors out here, all the members of the organizing committee of TEDx SCMS Pune, uh, and all my brothers and sisters uh, in the audience seat. I am Uttaran Naik this side. I am the co-founder and CEO of Alchemist AI. Uh, we are building the next generation of AI digital employees built in India for the world, which can interact with each other and form highly intelligent functional components across mid-sized to large enterprises. We are essentially disrupting the next $3.3 trillion worth of economy in global AI productivity and intelligent automation. But today, my agenda and uh, my coming here as a speaker uh, is not about uh, talking about Alchemist AI or maybe how much money or how much investment we have raised or how much revenue we are doing. Today, my agenda and my vision to come here is all because of you. Uh, four months back, I was a college student similar as all of you out here, sitting in a hostel room, uh, coding frugally out and building the first platform of Alchemist AI. Uh, I have still not graduated from college, so because I have not yet received my convocation degree, uh, I am still, uh, you can consider as one of the UG students out there from NIT Bhopal. Uh, I got out of college in May 2024 this year. So these four years have been hell of a ride for me. Very adventurous one, full of storms, tsunamis, and earthquakes. So today, uh, the theme of this event have been beyond binaries. And uh, as I was looking for the meaning of what uh, this entire uh, two word mean, I actually got a very interesting narrative out there. Uh, it, it, is, it has actually uh, it, it had got a lot of meanings with respect to genders, thinking beyond uh, genders and a lot of things. But what I actually got the main crisp of the meaning was ki when you are thinking goes beyond a certain level of expectation of what the society expects you to do, then only you go and start thinking beyond binaries. So, for you guys, you are mostly, I think, uh, a, a UG student of BBA. Uh, I got to know that you have students from SID and the Symbiosis Law School as well. And you are currently in your UG uh, stream out there. You are currently exploring out different domains, uh, not knowing which would be fruitful in the next three, four years, which would be fruitful in the next three, four years. Maybe as a senior, as an entrepreneur, and as your elder brother today, I will be here into helping you take some of the good decisions which have been fruitful for me and which can be fruitful for you as well. So I have broken this entire talk into five different parts. We will go one by one very slowly and slowly and decipher what each part has uh, in it for each one of you. So part one is what I called manifestation. And this is the single most the, and the strongest weapon which each of uh, an undergraduate student have uh, while uh, like thinking or while innovating out there. The first image which you see out in the back side is uh, a snap from my NIT Bhopal hostel room where I stayed for almost 2.5 years out there. So you will see that the entire place is laid like very crumbly with a lot of tables out there. There is a mattress which is laid on the ground. and. Uh, uh, like during my last two semesters in college, I actually slept on that mattress out in the cold Bhopal winters uh, while I was building out and I was coding the entire platform of Alchemist AI. Uh, not because we, I did not get a single room and a bed out there, but uh, this is a very uh, like fond memory of mine. Uh, during the last two semesters of my college, uh, the, the hostel fees of my college was roughly around I think uh, 20,000 rupees per semester. And at that point of time, the entire 40,000 rupees for two semesters was required uh, in the product building of Alchemist AI because we were building on, in, in generative AI and there's a lot of cost related stuff with respect to G GPU clusters and GPU containers. So I decided that he, uh, I will stay in one of my friend's rooms out there and uh, I will spend that money into uh, like building our product. So this is actually the snippet of my first room out. The second room is actually, this is a, a little bit hazy. This is from the place in Bangalore from May to uh, July 2024, where I stayed in one of my friend's place out. Uh, while building on Alchemist AI, while building the pro prototype out there, and while pitching to a lot of investors. Uh, it was not that key, we did not have money at that point of time. 
but there were two main problems out. Number one was I and my co-founder Anuran Roy. He's not here today. Uh, I wish he was here as well uh, in, in this seat. He's in Bangalore right now. So I and my Anuran, I and my co-founder Anuran, both of us resigned from our jobs. We had a full-time offer as well as a six-month internship out in some very prestigious companies out there. Uh, I was getting a something around 25 LPA uh, in a an year, and Anuran had a salary of around 80 lakhs per annum. So both of us left our job and we started building on this company. Uh, so we had roughly around six to seven months of runway. Post that, we also did not know what we would be doing. We had no idea how, where the trajectory of Alchemist AI would be going out there. And we had no, no, like, absolutely we were zero with respect to our future expectations. But there was one great thing, I would say, which kept both me and Anuran going. That was definitely the power of manifestation that I, I had this expectation and I knew that if Anuran is with me uh, and he knew that if Uttaran is with me, then both of us will be able to like build something disruptive. A uh, lot of friends out there helped us, a helped us in like, like, uh, like Sahil helped me a lot into like giving his room out while we were building our product. And this was actually the first, first big narrative out there which uh, every student, currently you are in your first year, second year, third year of college. Uh, you will be exploring a lot of ideas out. You will be exploring a lot of fields. M many of you guys out there uh, in the next uh, maybe two, three years down the line, you will be doing an MBA course. But the power of manifestation is something which has single-handedly helped me into standing today in front of you guys. Uh, like into, into, uh, uh, as a student entrepreneur out there who have maybe built something out and who have raised a very good amount of money from some like top tier investors in India. So I think this is the first part and the first big power and the first big weapon which every single student must possess. Let us move to part two. Part two is about thinking less and executing more. Here I will talk a little bit more about uh, Alchemist out there and what we have built. So while we were building the first prototype of Alchemist AI, we just built on a single application layer. So what is an application layer? An application layer is something that you build a front-end website out and in the back-end you have some generic large language models like ChatGPT, Gemini, Llama, Claude, Perplexity and you connect both the back-ends and the front-ends through an API integration. Uh, what happens with an API integration is essentially you show the world that you are building something very disruptive, you show the world that you have a website out there, but in the back end, every single work is done through ChatGPT, through Gemini, through Llama, and all these generic large language models. You don't have any back end layer out there. Now, for part three, this is the most, uh, what can I say? This is the most uh, favorable and the most uh, 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 happiest part of the entire uh, like talk. This is about repeated failures. So, when we started building on Alchemist AI, Nobody trusted us. And by nobody, I mean nobody from the entire Indian startup ecosystem. We went to at least 175 plus investors out there. Uh, at that point of time, we only had a paper plan and a business plan ready with us. No prototypes, nothing. Just two college boys out there uh, like telling and like shouting it out to the investors that they are ready to change the world. And nobody trusted us. Absolutely. So I had given more than 175 plus pitches out there. To investors and out of them, more than 150 of them have been complete failures. Uh, the investors have directly tell, told, like, like, to, gave me a feedback that it's a no from our end. But what changed for us in all these 175 plus pitches or maybe the feedback sessions from the investors is we came and we became better and better. So for us, the string of failures were quite more like than maybe the list of successes. We have had like closely like I, I think it's around 186, 187 pitches right now out of them like 99% of the times we have failed. Uh, the investors have told that uh, these in market will not work, you will not be able to gain much knowledge, you have OpenAI sitting in the back of your head, you have Google Gemini, you have uh, Microsoft AI and a lot of other companies out there and they will eat you up. Fairly enough. So this is about the miracle 1%. The miracle 1% is what I called the 1% of the time when you didn't fail. And that 1% is actually what makes history. So for us, uh, everything which happened, like we started building on Alchemist from November 2023. 
and everything which happened until may 2024 uh, or like may last week 2024 were complete failures we were saying complete failures from everything the customers were happy but uh, we knew that we need we need, like we need to raise money if we have to capitalize on it we have to like build if you want to build a big company out there we have to raise our funds because uh, with respect to ai you will need some good amount of gpu containers out there to sustain your models and gpu containers come at a very high cost like for nvidia itself it costs roughly around 9000 10000 dollars so for me this 1% miracle holds a very big potential value uh, because it gave me uh, my co-founder Anuran, uh, he's my CTO and the co-founder of Alchemist. Uh, it, it, it gave me a lot of uh, connections with all the industry leaders. I met with Akash Gupta and like uh, from, he's a founder of Zip Electric. It's a very big startup right now, very big company. Uh, it gave me a lot of other, like a uh, like, lot of other places to go as well because we were part, uh, like we were getting accelerated and incubated in IM Bangalore. So, the 1% miracle will only happen if you taste the string of failures. And without the repeated failures, the 1% miracle is not possible to happen out. The most, the, the, when, I, when I today speak with a lot of juniors from my college or different IITs, NITs, Symbiasis, M NMIMS and a lot of other colleges, what they tell me is like, uh, like uh, Uttaran, I have given maybe 5 pitches, 10 pitches and uh, like uh, my product is not working, the, the VCs are not finding interest, what should I do? So like I keep telling them that if you don't try and if you don't move that threshold of uh, or a string of failures, the 1% miracle or the success will not come into your life. You have to go into that place where you are giving 200, 300, 400, 500 pitches and then you can take a 1% of that and then you can take that, okay, five of them will come as a success. Without that, it will not happen. So, great. So this is about part five, which is the social media game. Currently, Everything moves online, everything moves digitally. Even if you are building a drone company today, I would have told you to have a very good outlook and a very, have a very good page of your social media profile. Currently on LinkedIn, I have roughly around 13,500 followers, which is not much, but definitely I am like, like you have to be very active over two social media profiles. One is LinkedIn, one is Twitter. If you're good on, if you're uh, like active on Instagram, then it's good. If you are a D2C brand or if you're building consumer products, then definitely Instagram is a place to be in because you have a lot of consumers out there who can see your ads and they can buy your products. But specifically, if you are into B2B enterprise products or if you are building in Web3, AI and all these deep tech categories, then LinkedIn and Twitter is uh, like are one of the two most important social media profiles which you should cater to and you should be like completely acing it out there. I have seen many influencers like like currently you have finance with Shara and you have like Raj Shamani and a lot of other people who have like not come from like maybe very renowned colleges out but they are absolutely killing it on these social media profiles because they have built a brand out of themselves. And I'm also not telling that you or everybody of you sitting here you have to build a personal brand of yours but at least be active because you will get a lot of prospecting offers from some very good companies out there. Uh, like uh, very very fondly remembering I actually got my uh, internship in this YC backed company called Stack finance through Twitter. So I one day, one day I randomly, I think the Twitter is also there right now on, on the page. So I directly uh, wrote a tweet to the co-founder of Stack Finance, uh, Ms. Smriti Tomar, and she replied back. Uh, she uh, she uh, like uh, she took my email ID and it was not also something asking. I just wanted to say, I, I wrote very uh, like frankly that uh, uh, I, I wish to be a part of the company. I have these, these, these skill sets. Uh, if you, uh, I would really love to work with you. Uh, if you feel that uh, I am eligible for that, I would definitely love to connect. And she connected. And yes, I got the job as well and the internship as well. So it is, it is actually easy, but uh, like nobody wants to do the boring and the tedious task. So with that, definitely uh, I would love to end with a quote from Robert Frost uh, from a poem uh, which he had written called The Road Not Taken. So uh, it's a very favorite line from my side that uh, like two roads diverged in a wood and uh, I took the one less traveled by and that has made all the difference. So thank you so much guys for uh, giving your time and everything. It really meant a lot for me. Thank you.